Hello, my name is Day. So you asked me how I feel about PSO2 and GS after playing beta on Global. Well, yeah, I'll break it down from what I see so far and what they present to us on the beta and what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Or, you know, things they can improve. Now let's start with the character customization. We already know NGS character, you can bring it from PSO2, so that's very good because you keep all your cosmetic and whatnot. The Salon is basically like the PSO2 JPs right now because it's all updated and whatnot. Things just looks a lot better in NGS, I suppose, because how the graphic look and whatnot, and the lighting, I suppose. Um, the character customization is pretty good, you have many options and whatnot. That's it about character customization, I think it's pretty good. Let's move on to the the movement, the character movement and PAs and whatnot. So in NGS you can glide and you can run. I take a little bit to get used to how to do those two things, but I mean it's pretty convenient seeing it as a open field game. Of course you want to be able to run and glide so you can travel faster and further. So for this part I only want to focus on gunner and force because that's the two classes that play. It takes me a little bit to get used to, like the new mechanics and one on each class. For example, for Gunner's Chain, you have to use a charge PA to start, and you have to use a charge PA to, to blow it up. Well, that's something different. I think it's pretty unique though, so you can use PA to chain the uncharged one, I mean. So yeah, I like that one. The only thing that I think they can probably adjust is, like I said, animation cancel is the problem. Like your PA, you can hit it and you want to cancel when you're shooting. Yes, you can cancel the thing midway with weapon action, but other than that, you have to time it. Else you miss it, your PA will keep going. That's a little bit annoying. So I hope they can work on that part. And also I really wish they bring us more PAs because right now TMG only has 3 PAs. The close range one, the mobbing one, and then you know the multi-shot one. We usually use that one to build the chain aside with s roll. But yeah, that's unfortunate they only have 3 PAs right now in the close beta on global. For Gunner it feels like you're gonna make up your mind if you wanna do PAs or you know you wanna cancel and dodge out of it with your s roll. Timing it can be a really hard sometimes. So I do get hit time to time. It's a new mechanic. It's pretty good. Your chain is on your soul. You can pop the AOE and everything you hit will have multiplier. Not like PSO2, only on one spot. And let's move on to Force. I really like Force because they have animation cancel. I started Gunner first and then I swapped to Force and I feel like their animation cancel is a lot easier compared to Gunner. When you're charging technique, you don't have to charge all the way. If you think an attack is going to hit you, you can weapon action. The barrier will save you or you can step out of it. Things like that is what I really want to see. Um, unfortunately, like I said, Gunner doesn't have it. Like You have to time it right. You have to time your weapon action right so you can dodge during mid PA, which is, yeah. That's about force. Um, I think they're like Gifoi, Gibarda, Gizonde is a little too weak. Sure, if you hit multiple enemies, it's pretty okay. And also, what is wrong with Foi, your charge one? It's like a raw Foi, but like it's super strong. Like, no matter what you hit, even though they're not even weak to fire, like Foi still hit like a truck when you charge it up. A lot higher than Barda and Zonde. I kind of wish they could adjust that. When we were farming some field bosses, Bujin, Nuglet, I most of the time just use Foy, like the charge up one. It's like the rough Foy. You don't proc status element that much on that. Besides Urgent Quest, because like Urgent Quest, you hit it with Zone Day and it will get shocked and it will break and it will be like stunned. But for regular field enemy, it's like you don't really have a point to do that. So I really want them to balance the damage on those techniques. And yeah, like I said again, the Gi type of technique is kind of too weak. I understand they hit multiple targets, but like the damage is so low. Maybe they can work on that. But overall force, I feel a little more happy on force compared to Gunner because the animation cancel is smooth. You can freely do whatever you want. You can block, step out of attack. And that's about it for talk about the classes. Unfortunately, I don't get the chance to try other ones because I'm just too focused on leveling these two. The next topic I'll be talking about is the open field. I like the idea of open field. You have brilliant view and whatnot. Like it feels free when you're doing stuff. You have to run around. But like after a while, I thought of you start unlocking those Ryoker device, you can teleport them. It's starting to become fast travel device, so it kind of loses the purpose of open world, you have to travel here and there. I guess that's okay. 
You can change block there, you can craft food, it's pretty convenient. The only complaint I have though for that is the rim system, even though you're on the same block, whenever you're on a field, you are on a 32 man MPA, and that's not friendly. We try to find friend in the same block, trying to join a party, we just can't find them because they're not in the same room. And I'm pretty sure people have the same problem as us, like trying to get friend in your party, but you're not in the same room, so that's kind of sad. And the next thing I will be talking about, the UI. I think the UI is still really terrible. I think everyone can agree to that. There are a lot of things you're trying to find and you look at the menu, you're like, um, which category is it under? What the hell? Well, that's kind of frustrating to find what you're trying to find. I feel like they can improve on UI a lot. The quest UI is actually pretty friendly though. They will lead you to the right direction and do the right stuff for the quest. Well, besides some side quests, I suppose. There are times like the Noglith one, if you remember, it will just ask you to defeat one Noglith and you're like, where am I supposed to look for this thing? You don't know if it's a mob, you don't know if it's a mini boss or it's an actual boss. They could have said something about that. Well, you know, the indicator can be clarified a little more, I suppose. Other than that, I think the UI, it, it's okay. The quest UI is pretty friendly. Now we kind of move on to the system part, like your quest system, your weapon system and whatnot. So let's start with the quest system. All the daily and weekly thing, from what I heard, is basically account bound. So if you do on one character, you don't have to worry about other character and whatnot. That kind of lose the purpose of having multiple character, I suppose, if everything can be only done once. But I guess it saved the trouble for people like me have 30 characters trying to do all the weekly and whatnot. So yeah, that's pretty convenient, I suppose. The good thing about the system for like skill point and cocoon or tower is that you only need to do it once and all your classes will have it. That is also very convenient as well so you don't have to get skill point for each different classes. And then we talk about the multi-weapon system. It's a new thing. You can fuse two of the same type of weapon together. Let's say like I fuse a two-star TMG into a two-star rod and I can swap and use two weapons under. The idea is pretty cool, but you have to remember if you use if you use a rod TMG on a gunner, even though you can use gunner's PA, it will act like a TMG, but you will not be able to use chain or class skills on there. So so that is kind of scuffed. I feel like they can work on that. But the idea is pretty cool though. You can swap it into weapon. But honestly, I don't know. If I were doing that next time, I probably would just prepare a rod and a TMG instead of combining them together, I suppose. So I don't have to go through that kind of trouble. That's a cool idea and I feel like they can modify that thing to be a little more friendly in terms of using class skills and whatnot. The next thing I would like to talk about is the enemy design and the boss design. Like we touched a little bit earlier on the fuel enemy topic, I feel like they need to make the elemental status element a little more significant. Like if you're hitting it, like I said earlier, hitting everything with foy will solve the problem because it's just simply too strong. Maybe make it proc a little more when you use the element is weak to on um, technique wise. Something like that can hope. The enemy is pretty cool though, like the, the raid boss. I did the the urgent quest was A man. That one was pretty cool. You gotta you gotta hit it with Zonde and try to stun it. Maybe it's because it's low level and you know it's downtime is pretty high. Like if you stun it, it's just underground for like 10 15 seconds. It's a very long time. So maybe this is just a quest. They try to get us used to the enemy, so they try to go easy on us. But I suppose there's gonna be higher, harder stuff like you know the level 19 Panther or that giant on the field. Maybe something like that will be more interesting in the future. I would like to see those with more mechanic and whatnot. That will be it for talking about enemy and related stuff. In conclusion, NGS has a lot of potential. Its graphic is beautiful. It has really unique weapon system and class works differently. Something for us to relearn and explore. But at the same time, I do wish them to continue work on the game, to develop, to hear our feedback and whatnot. So this game in the future will be a lot better and it will last a long time.
And I hope NGS will be my favorite game for the next decade or so. Close beta really is just farming trials and bosses. I can't really tell what they're gonna bring on the on NGS release. I actually hope they have more enemy that's a little more interesting in terms of mechanic. They might want to have more ways of leveling under this NPC for that, but they're kind of like tutorial. We need some NPC like Hans in NGS. Kill this for this amount of time to kind of power up a little bit on the speed on leveling because I would not want to grind from 1 to 15 on the release just by doing bosses and trials that's very boring and I've been through that for like three days post beta so that was a little bit more disappointing I thought they would have a lot more quests what do you think about NGS? What do you like or dislike about NGS at the moment? You may leave a comment below and share your thoughts. That's it for today guys. My name is Day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.